Good evening. Warning, the following thought... What was my disclaimer? Fuck, I forgot. The following may contain adult language and themes. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. If you have a problem with this, stop playing this video now. How's it going? I just thought I'd come on here and chat a bit. You know, I don't really have agendas or schedules or what have you when I do these videos. I kind of just ad-lib them. Uh, what should I talk about? The only big thing coming on the horizon, I believe, is the Alex Leopold fight with Vladimir Klitschko. Complete joke. Um, god damn, dude. I'm just so sick of Vladimir Klitschko. Like, you know, and I think that Vladimir Klitschko's reign to a, as heavyweight champion, to a certain extent, is fabricated. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, and this kind of goes into other things, like that boxing is kind of fake, in my opinion. Now, you know, when people say boxing's fake, you know, the typical response is, well, why don't you get in the ring with one of these guys and let them hit you in the face and let's see if it's fake. You know, ugh. Which, okay, let me put it this way. Certain aspects of boxing are fake. I would say probably 99.9% .9 of the time, the punches are real. But that doesn't mean... But there are other aspects of boxing that are fake, that are probably more important. Like, for instance, you can throw a fight, and there's no way people can prove it. You could do that. Basically, what you could do is, you know, choose not to try very hard. You know, you, you could, and, and the punches you take are real, but, but, you know, you let the punches hit you. Like, like maybe you saw that punch coming, but you didn't decide to get out of the way and just let, let it hit yourself, you know. And, you know, a lot of these fighters who do dive, you know, oh, the only thing I think they're really guilty of are not doing it convincingly. Because, they're, you know, I could, you could throw a fight. Any, any fighter could throw a fight convincingly. They could. It's not that hard. All you do is just not try very hard. Like, let's say, you know, you know, if you choose not to get out of the way of the punches, or you choose not to try very hard, it's hard to prove that. You know, no amount of slow motion replays, unless it's extremely obvious. Like, if David Hay was ordered to throw a fight versus Valuev, and, and he was, and, and Valuev was, value was landing on Hay regularly, you know, we'd, we'd all be like, what? <laughs> we'd all be like, okay, this is kind of suspicious. You know what I mean? Because Valuev's value slow as molasses. But let's say, let's say, David Hay fought, um... What's his name? Adlener Solis. Now, you know, David Hayes much quicker than Adlener Solis, but Adlener Solis has some speed. And let's say Adlener Solis is going up against David Hayes, and Adlener Solis just throws a wild punch, and David Hayes sees it coming, but he chooses not to get out of the way. You know, he just consciously, in his mind, chooses not to get out of the way, and he, he lets the punch hit him, and he goes down naturally. I mean, it's a completely 100% real knockout, but he just chose not to get out of the way. Now, how do we prove that? We wouldn't be able to prove that, because all, we know Adlener Solis is fast enough to do something like that, but how would we prove that David Hay chose not to get out of the way? You can't prove that sort of thing. That's why I say that a lot of, in my opinion, a lot of boxing is fake. Like, Rick Bow, I believe, admitted to drumming up fake animosity towards his his opponents to sell a fight that's that's fake that, that, that's not real that's fake so are you going to tell me that outside of that's like fucking professional wrestling you know it's like oh uh, um, oh Randy Savage you know I'm going to break his bones uh, here we go mate ball <laughs> like that sort of shit you know it's like that's not real so you're going to tell me that that's shit with Riddick Bow and like Mike Tyson, you know, biting people and shit. That doesn't leak over into the ring, that fakeness. You know what I mean? Okay. See, that's why I think that Vladimir Klitschko, part of his reign, I, I believe has got to be fake. I mean, do I think Vladimir Klitschko's genuinely a big, strong guy and who's probably a better boxer than most people out there? Yeah. But, but it's just so unbelievable that this guy has been able to hold on to the belts for so long. I mean, like, even when I saw Rush, Ruslan Chaga fighting, fighting uh, Vladimir Klitschko, it's like... Dude, it's not that hard to slip the Klitschko jab. Like, okay, okay, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard for a boxer. I mean, obviously it'd be hard for one of us, but I think for a boxer, it shouldn't be that hard because many t all you got to do is when he sticks it out there, turn your head to the left and just start going forward. Ruslan Chagav never did that. You know, he never did that. He never tried... Well, okay, from what I saw of the fight, because I, I couldn't watch all of it because it was so fucking boring, but from what I did watch, Ruslan Chagav never did that. He never, like... 
And he and he would slip the punches ever so often, but he would never come forward. He'd never rush Vladimir Klitschko. Like, why 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 aren't you doing that? Like, it's not that hard, you know. I, um, so that's why I think you know Vladimir Klitschko's reign to a certain extent is fake. Um, and Dwyer I think touched on. Like, why would somebody throw a fight at that level? You know, there's no amount of money you could give somebody. Well, Dwyer, um, there, money, there, there's more than money to motivate people. Um, how about death? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe these guys are, it's hinted to them, you know, you know, when, when, when somebody coerces you into doing something, they never outright, you know, tell you because for fear of getting sued so so they so they sort of hint at it maybe they these people were hinted at that if you didn't do what they said you'd be killed <laughs> you know because like gangs mafia are involved in boxing all the time and betting so yeah <laughs> that, that life and death that's worth more than any prize out there maybe these guys were coerced into doing it i don't know but i just i you know i would but we all you know the the idea is though we'd all like to think this is real though we'd like to think because if it's not real if a lot of it is fabricated then it we it just becomes less interesting i don't know you know i i just do believe a lot of boxing is fabricated do i think most of the punches are real yeah they probably are but a whole lot, every other aspect almost is fake in my opinion like like i'd say all, out of all the other aspects of boxing like 60 to 70 percent of it is fake or fabricated or not genuine um which, which you know kind of saddens me um but anyway i try to look past it um <laughs> let's move on um lucas brown versus some bohoyla guy i don't know man <laughs> some guy i never heard of lucas brown by knockout <laughs> Well, I even need to... Vladimir Klitschko by knockout. Bam! Timber! <sighs> Down goes fucking Leopi, the lion. <sighs> Ugh, are they making another Saw? I want another fucking Saw movie. I like I like the Saw series. I don't know. Uh, if, if you've seen some of my horror movie reviews... Hello, hello Dwyer. <laughs> hello, Dwyer. I want you to make a choice for me. <laughs> you either need to admit you may not know who I am. But I know you. <laughs> I want you to admit that you were wrong about Manny Pacquiao and Timothy Bradley, or else there's a bomb strapped to your kitty named Cuddles. The choice is yours. Dun 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 dun. Oh my God! What do I do? My kitty Cuddles? No! Oh, I hate fucking Manny Pacquiao. No! I'll never admit Timothy Bradley sucks. No! <laughs> fuck! 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 <laughs> what do I need to talk about next? Maybe we should get some beers to make this be even more fucking exciting, motherfucker. Oh, you may know when you're a redneck if you fucking got a redneck. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd pop on real quick, shoot some, shoot some shit. This saw uh, watch, just watched a pretty bad movie. It was called American Ninja, a little jam from the 80s. People are like, Michael Dudikoff. Why is Michael Dudikoff in the Expandables? I'll tell you why. Because Michael Dudikoff's a boring motherfucker. <laughs> like, I saw, if you, I don't know if you've seen American Ninja, but it's just, ugh, God. It's like, it wasn't a bad movie, but it, it would be like almost if Chuck Norris was younger. You know, because there, there, people like Van Damme and Arnold, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hello, I am Otto Schwarzenegger. I am your governor. <laughs> um, very interesting. Like Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Van Damme are all charming and interesting because they've got such weird personalities. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's like <laughs> he's like a German Nazi, you know, <laughs> who's made Hollywood movies. And um, in Van Damme, you know, he's like a Brussels muscles from Brussels type guy. He's got, he's got an accent. He's like Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Woohoo! <You know? laughs> um, but Michael Dudikoff, he's like Chuck Norris. The same thing that's wrong with Chuck Norris. If Chuck Norris didn't have the Chuck Norris jokes, he wouldn't. He would be so boring. Like he's he has no personality. He's just an American. He's just an um, a boring American. Same thing with Michael Dudikoff in American Ninja. He's just so boring. Um, I don't know. I guess it's kind of good in a cheesy eighty sort of way, but whatever, man. Uh, goddamn, goddamn! Oh no, you be uh huh. <laughs> Never talk to black man on the radio. Don't you ever talk to? <laughs> oh motherfucker! I need to I need to touch up on Tyson Fury a bit. Tyson Fury. 
<laughs> yeah, you keep asking me lucky charms. <laughs> Why? Why's everybody laughing when I say that? <laughs> My brother, Seamus, works for Doctor Evil. <laughs> Must kill Austin Powers. <laughs> One million dollars. Dun dun dun. Take it easy. Fuck, dude. What are you still doing here? Still listening to me? Fucking, I'm bored as shit. Fucking go listen to Dwyer. Take it easy. Bye.